Uh, th does this mean anything to you? Théâtre National Populaire. Jean Villard and Gérard Ah oui. Philippe. Ah oui. Ah, ben, ben, oui, en France. Oh, ah, 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 ben oui. Euh, Ça, c'était pas ici. Ah, oh, c'est pas ici. Oh non, thank you, thank you. non. Theatre Club. Ah oui. What does that mean to ah, you? Ah, ben, ça veut dire. It means. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it means um, uh, Monsieur Letourneau and um, Monique Lepage, who uh, created that uh, uh, troupe, uh, group, uh, and uh, they played uh, a few things. I didn't see many of their shows, uh, but I saw some uh, of their shows. That was a smaller, uh, small effort. Yes, yes. Conservatoire Dramatique. Is this another small effort? Does it mean anything? Well, Conservatoire, c'est une école. It's a school. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, people go there to uh, uh, know how to speak. Jean yes. Dote, Albert Miller uh, split off and formed Théâtre Populaire du Québec, TPQ. TPQ? Mm -hmm. Théâtre Populaire du Québec, who? Uh, Jean, Jean Dote, Albert Miller. Albert Miller, oui, Albert Miller is a great actor. Does the Théâtre Populaire du Québec have a, a high... Uh, do you remember it well? Do you remember where it was? Théâtre Populaire du Québec. Je sais, was it in Montreal, in it was Quebec? Near, near the Forum, um, behind uh, the parking lot, a round building. I, no. I never played for them. Oh, the Montreal Repertory Theatre. Ah, French yes, ah, oh, yes. I yeah. played for them at the very beginning of my career, yes. I played for them in French. Um, it was a lovely play. Um, Avec Pierre Dagenet, Pierre Dagenet was uh, playing there. He was a good actor too. And there was Pierre Etalari also. She was a, she became a great singer, but uh, she was playing uh, one of the parts. And uh, yes, I loved my experience at the Montreal Repertory Theater. French, uh, French section, evidently. <coughs> they had English and French section. Exactly. How would that administrate? Uh, how do I, don't know. Huh? I don't know. Do I don't know. They have a fr French head, an uh, English head. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember nothing at all. I know that the French play I played in was directed by a man. I unfortunately, I forget his name, but he was a radio man at CKC. Yeah, Goulet, Monsieur Goulet, was uh, directing that play. Yes. Uh, they have things we call théâtre poche here in Quebec. Uh, yes, thing. but... Uh, L'Anjou. Oh, yes, L'Anjou. I created L'Anjou. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, L'Anjou. It was uh, directed by... Um, uh, tell me his name, Richard, please. Uh, Robert Gadois, no. Dinimus, Patrick Antoine, Muriel no, 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 no. Uh, anyway, uh, he is a man from Quebec. He's a, he's a wonderful actor, a good director. Anyway, he uh, played, we played Le Printemps de la Saint-Martin there. The first time we played, it was at L'Anjou on Drummond Street. Yeah, I remember very well that play, that place. What happened to that theater? Nothing. Uh, when, uh, when there's no money. Uh, so. <coughs> is it demolished now? It oh, it was not a theater. It was a kind of um, the upper part of the restaurant uh, on oh. uh, on the first floor. So it was. <coughs> <coughs> it was a very small uh, place, and uh, no, it, was, it doesn't exist anymore. The apprenti sorcier. Yes. What was this phenomenon? Uh, I don't know because I never played with them. I never did anything for them, so I don't know. Théâtre de Katsu, de Paul. Ah yes, Buissonneau. Ah oui, Théâtre de Katsu, very important did you, uh, group. Did you do a play never, right and I regret it. I would have liked them to um, ask me to play, but no, he's a very good friend, I like him very much, but no, uh, probably, uh, maybe, you know, I was working so much at that time, maybe he said, uh, I cannot get her, but maybe he said, I don't need her, you know, which is possible too, I don't know. Anyway, I never played there, never, never. Mm -hmm. Théâtre de 10 heures of Jacques Languiron. Languiron, uh, Jacques Languiron, no, unfortunately, 
I never played uh, for him uh, neither. I just made a film with him, though, uh, for the National Film Board, um, and he was playing my uh, my husband. But I never played with him for him. No, never. There were others in about fifty-seven. We had summer theaters. Saint Adele, we've mentioned. Chante yes. Claire de Paul. Hébert. Yes. Yes. Yeah. De que? De quoi? Paul Hébert. Ah, c'est Paul Hébert, Paul Hébert le, the man I was uh, looking for. He was the director of uh, L'Anjou. Paul Hébert, yes. A very important uh, man. What, what did he do that was uh, so important? Uh, Paul Hébert. Yeah. First of all, he was a great actor, and he was a good director. We had lots of fun with him, yes. He, Mm. And that setting, uh, Chanteclair, Saint Adele, did you like that? I went, um, I don't remember if I saw. It was a Frenchman. I will look. For, oh, what was his name? I don't remember his name. Anyway, he. I know he put some shows there, but I maybe I saw one. I don't remember. There was one at Percy. Yes, I never went uh, to see their shows either. See, it's far, Percy, you know. Mm. In Quebec City, there is La Fenière and Lestoc. No, La Fenière, I never played there. I never saw Lestoc, I never saw either. I played many, many times at Le Théâtre du Bois de Coulonge in, uh, in uh, Quebec. Yes, I like that very much. The other actors uh, in Quebec City, were they local Quebec City actors? Or yes, yeah? yes. So y you were like from... Yes. Visiting yes. Was there a difference in the communities or any mm. rivalry, anything like that? I never felt any, but uh, I'm told that there is. It it exists, uh, but you know, in Quebec City, it's uh, such a wonderful city and such wonderful people living there. I maybe years ago they used to have a chip on their shoulder, you know, uh, saying, ah, oh, it's Montreal, it's better, because it's Montreal. But now they realize that uh, they took, uh, comment on dit, so they took conscience of themselves and uh, realize that they, they do as well as anybody else. So uh, it's a great pleasure to play with them. And, uh, Super. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, the... Petit théâtre de la Bassoc, ba, du Baroche, Baroque, Bussoc. I don't know. Quebec City, never mind. I don't know. Studio de théâtre club de la rue Saint-Luc à Montréal. Oui, ça, j'en je, ai parlé, oui, oui. Oui, j'ai vu quelques petits. La poudrière de l'île Saint-Hélène. Ah oui, oui, j'ai joué là, j'ai joué euh, Vue du pont de Arthur Miller. Yes. J'ai joué là. In English? No, French. Well, maybe you speak to me in English. <laughs> <laughs> I remember with this interview is in English. Could you try that question again? La Poudrière de l'Île Saint Hélène. You d you said you did an Arthur Miller play there. Vu du pont. Right. It's film. Uh, yeah. Look around. I see some nice, nice old things. Five. And it reminds me of this house, four, a museum now. Three. Thank, thank you, Michel. I must recommend it. And I'll tell you later. Oui. Oh. Si on a le temps, parce que le temps passe. Hein, yes, I have. Et bientôt trois heures. Puis faut que je parte. Okay, uh, just a few more minutes here. Your most celebrated possibly role at one point in your career was Blanche, a vieille fille qui va aimer Virgile. Does this ring a bell to you? Que what? I don't... You played a role uh, at Montreal Repertory Theatre. Uh, Seminaire de Rimouski, did you ever play there? No, uh, what play? Oh, I, that's it, I don't have a title. Blanche. Blanche was the role. Blanche? Blanche? Maybe a streetcar? Yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. Seminaire de Rimouski, je ne me rappelle pas avoir. You never played at Seminaire de Maybe, but I, uh, if I, you don't give me the, the okay. good uh, thing, I don't L'Atelier de Sherbrooke, did you ever play there? Maybe, but uh, what and when, I don't mm. remember. Jacques Languiron. As I told you, I never, never think uh, of what I did. I'm mm. mostly interested in what's coming. How about Les Grégor? Is Les Grégor. It was a was very, that? very good um, group, uh, directed by uh, Madame Baer, Françoise Baer. <coughs> but unfortunately, uh, it lasted a few years, and I never had a chance to play there. But I saw some of 
their productions and I liked it very much. The Apprenti Sorcier went public uh, with Jean-Guy Sabourin, Rod, Rodic, Rodrigue Mathieu and uh, Robert Singer with Les Saltimbanques. Oui, mais j'ai pas vu ça. No. Je, I have nothing to do with them. I am. Um, not your crowd. No, no, no. It was not my family. Okay. <laughs> Gilles de Rome plays. Did you ever do anything? Like Gilles de Rome, no. He, he was not an actor. He was he an actor? Did, uh, Gilles de Rome. Author. Author. author uh, uh, most. Uh, How about the Nouvelle Compagnie Théâtrale? Ah oui, la Nouvelle Compagnie Théâtrale. Ça, je connais bien. How uh, describe it. Uh, ben, C'était une, une troupe qui voulait monter. Uh, uh, yes. It is a, a group uh, who was um, uh, helped by the government to put on plays uh, that would um, uh, interest uh, the students. And uh, so it was classical, uh, most of the time classical plays, and uh, they did a very nice job. And they used to tour also. So uh, I think that after they had a run in Montreal, they would uh, tour uh, to, so that the other students of the other parts of the province would benefit from it too. Yeah. Did you work with any? Never. Yeah. Here's some choreographers, do they ring a bell? Do you know these names? Jeanne Renaud, Françoise Riopelle, Françoise Sullivan. Françoise Sullivan, yes. Choreographer, what is that? Yes, she, uh, she was a cho choreographer, uh, Françoise Sullivan, and a painter. Oh. Yes, she was a very interesting uh, person. Stop when you have a story of anybody. Claude uh, Gauvreau, we mentioned, Roland mm. Giguère. Oh, je ne l'ai pas connu. I would have liked because he's a famous painter. Um, Muriel Dilbeau. Yes. Gilles Eno. Yes. Dini Musso. Denis. Dini Musso. Oh, Dini Musso. She was uh, the sister of uh, Muriel. Yes. I played with uh, her and uh, she died not very long ago and um, oh, she was a great, great actress. Yeah, she was. I. When I talked about her, I always uh, say that she was, you know, the, uh, of our generation of actors, she was the one who had the more talent, uh, in my opinion. Yes, she was marvelous. Super. Um, Pierre Mercure, musician. Pierre Mercure, yes, but I never worked with Pierre him. Pierre Charpentier or Graham Cornway? No. Charpentier, he would uh, uh, do the music for some things that we did on TV, yes. or uh, on a, uh, voyons, a film. Uh, he would uh, do film music, and uh, I knew him like that. Uh, Marcel Barbeau, does that mean anything to you? No. Uh, Jean-Paul Musso, we mentioned. Uh, we oui. Yeah. Okay. Paul Emile. Bordua. Bordua, oh, a great geni genius. I was uh, in the um, museum with my sister, and we uh, went because there was a, a, a special exposition, not exposition, exhibition, exhibition of the work of uh, Bordua. And uh, I, uh, I could cry everything I had because when he was living, I I knew other painters, not him, and I don't understand why. And uh, oh, he, he was marvelous. Yeah. How did things change with the creation of the uh, Ministry of Culture? Was it uh, a better atmosphere? Uh, was there more money to stage productions? Around? Yes, there was more money, probably. Uh, yes, uh, there was more money. Was it a rapid change? Well, rapid. Uh, when there is more money, there is more group who want to, and you have to be fair with everybody. And, and I suppose, and uh, uh, I don't mind you. I, I don't want to talk about that because it's none of my. C'est pas mes inquiétudes, my inquiétude. You know, I'm not uh, concerned with that. Uh, uh, Evidently, I would like that the government uh, would give more money to arts, uh, uh, more than for uh, La Défense Nationale, or something like that, uh, certainly. Good call. Uh, 
The National Theater School was founded uh, in the early 60s mm -hmm. under Gascon. Yes. Uh, was this important? <gasps> ah, yes. Ah, yes. Very, very important. Because since the opening of that school, uh, uh, pupils well uh, directed, well trained, well, uh, they know. Uh, they know everything, those young actors. When I'm always amazed. They, they sing well, they dance well, they play well, they, they do everything. Because they have four years of working hard, you know, to learn their craft. Are you sorry that you did not have Oh, that? yes, you bet. Mind you, I don't think that I had a bad school since it was a... Travailler, uh, work uh, at your trade. Uh, but it was a good school too, you know. But uh, maybe many errors we did, we wouldn't have done if uh, we had that training. You went to New York to study? Yes. Well, tell me about that. Where did you study? I studied um, at Miss Francois. Uh, she had a French name, but she was American, and uh, it was after St. Lazarus Pharmacy. I didn't know what to do. I had a little bit of money. I said mm, to myself, if I could stay in New York, maybe I could, you know, find... Uh. So Eddie Dowling, uh, who I uh, knew at that time, and his wife, they told me, why don't you stay and you can uh, uh, learn um, uh, English diction, uh, since I thought maybe I can lose my accent. What an illusion! And uh, so I, I uh, worked with her, and I worked also at a dance school to know how to, how to sit, how to raise, how to walk, etc., etc. Et and, uh, well, I did that for, well, uh, until I had no money. Just enough money to come back home and work. Um, in Expo 67, was that a busy year, the World's Fair? For me? No, not for me, because I didn't do anything with the, the, uh, l'exposition. No. no, they had uh, mostly uh, the, the shows, uh, the, uh, things uh, amusing, uh, comedies and uh, stand-up comics, and uh, you know, there was lots of people and they wanted to go and laugh. I'm not the type. I never did that. They created the uh, Salle Maisonneuve and Port Royal at Place des Arts around this period. There was Expo Theatre at Cité du Havre. Mm -hmm. um, was this going to change or not really change the theatre scene? Well, uh, the Théâtre du Nouveau Monde uh, uh, occupied Port Royal. Uh, the Mm, a few years, you know, but it, uh, it, we were so excited to be in our home, you know, but uh, it's a very large uh, proscenium and uh, it was uh, difficult, it was uh, difficult. Um, so, uh, anyway, I think that they were uh, uh, happy to go and uh, play at uh, La Comédie. Did you ever play in uh, any French theatres outside of Canada, outside of uh, Quebec, but not Toronto, like in maybe yes. Winnipeg, or New Brunswick, or Alberta, anything like oh, that? Oh, oui, yes, yeah. j'ai fait tout ça, oui, oui, oui. What do you re recall? Uh, which th which theatres? Oh, mon Dieu. Or what city? You know, when you are on tour, uh, you live in your uh, bag and uh, you play there this time at, uh, and uh, psh, you, you hardly even see the, the place. Uh, oh no, I don't remember. I, seen, I have seen, oh, I don't know, hundreds of theater, different theaters, so I don't remember. And remember all of them. How did you get around? Train, bus? Plane. We took the train to, to tour, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a plane, but it was uh, very expensive. But we have to not only transport the, the actors, but uh, the sets, uh, the um, uh, clothes, uh, everything. Uh, it was a uh, train was better. Did you have the whole car? <gasps> Many. Well? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, for, for, for all the, as I told you, the, the props, the things uh, for, for many plays, you know, when you go, you don't go with one play, you go with two, three, four plays. Did television uh, hurt the theatre? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. On the contrary, I had the feeling that um, we were afraid uh, that television would kill theater. But uh, when you had a chance to have a series on TV and you were advertised in uh, a play, uh, the people wanted to go and see this uh, character uh, in, in another play, you know. Oh, did, yes. Did you do any roles on TV and on the stage? The same? Yeah, the same no. role. Oh, no. No. It didn't happen. No, it didn't happen to me. I don't say it didn't happen oh. ever, but never to me. Was there a, a money in, in movies at all? In no. Oh, no, oh, no. It was stage, radio, and television. Mm -hmm. And that's about all. Ben, il y avait du euh, film. Oui, we, we did film uh, with Renaissance film. I did the, uh, one of the first uh, films that were made uh, in Montreal uh, called. Um, um, mon Dieu, ça s'appelait comment donc? Uh, oh, ça va me revenir. It will come back. Um, anyway, it was a nice little thing with Monique Lirac and. Uh, oh, Ah, anyway, uh, so we did that that uh, that uh, thing. It was called uh, well, just, uh, a film. There's a film of, of Charlie Chaplin, who is nearly the same uh, Lime title. Limelight. Uh, no, en français, en français, okay. in French, in French. Anyway, uh, I did that, and after I did a few films for uh, l'Office National du Film, uh, Kamouraska, uh, que je viens de revoir. I was playing the part of the, the mother of Geneviève uh, Bujo, Madame Dauville, 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 je ne sais plus. Et puis, um, uh, others, uh, uh, one that oh, I liked very, very much, uh, not because I had a big part, but uh, because it was a nice film uh, called uh, Salut Victor. Very good film. And uh, another one I did not very long ago called Le Plus Grand Serpent du Monde. Alors, I didn't see the, the, the film yet, but uh, I will eventually. And in 1973, you married uh, Gracien. Yes. Uh, what was this like? It was like a royal wedding or something of the theater. Oh, no. Huh? Yeah. Oh, no. We had a very uh, simple family uh, uh, wedding at home and uh, with all his uh, children and uh, friends, a few friends, and that's all. No, it was not at all. Le, le genre Céline Dion. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to be finishing soon. Yeah. But what have I not mentioned? What is it I've absolutely overlooked? But, well, you know, you asked me so many things I don't know myself. <laughs> no, I don't think you well, overlooked. We've gone longer than I thought. I thought yes, we would go yes. three tapes. It's three, oh and, my three and a half God. now. Terrible. <laughs> and no, I don't think you've overlooked anything. Okay. No, no. The, everything I, was... Uh, I think we should uh, stop. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed the talk. Anyway. Um, maybe you could, uh...